everyone! How magical to see you here on my channel! In this November edition of the ESB Monthly Bake, I'm creating a little magic of my own, with miniature showstoppers in mini magic top hats that will stun anyone you bake them for, and make them think you have a power beyond your control, and a selection of magical songs to accompany the recipe. Before we get baking, let's make sure we have everything in one place. everything we need. Let's get baking. Line the Swiss roll tin with greaseproof paper and preheat the oven to 190 degrees centigrade. Then make your own cupcake cases for the cupcake tin by cutting squares of about the size of the holes and pressing them in, weighting them with a container the size of the hole. Then Trim all the edges so they don't stick out. Or you can use bought cupcake cases. Next, make the sponge for the base. Very soft butter is a must in this recipe, as it mixes everything together smoothly. But if you haven't left your butter out long enough, just blast for 10 to 15 seconds in a microwave to a soft, but not melting. When you have soft butter, Put it into the big mixing bowl and beat with a wooden spoon before adding in all the other ingredients all at once. Give it a big stir and beat to a smooth mixture. Then spoon into the prepared Swiss roll tin and spread out with a table knife until it is in one even layer. Bake for 15 to 20 minutes until springy to the touch and a light golden brown. While the base sponge is baking, make a start on the coloured cupcakes. Put the butter into the big bowl. You don't need to wash it as it's the same mix. 
and beat before adding the sugar. When that mix is light and fluffy, add in the flour and give it a stir till it is in crumbly bits. Finally, add the eggs, lemon zest and baking powder to the mix and beat to a smooth consistency. Divide the mixture into six small bowls with a large spoon and make each of them a different colour. I made red, orange, yellow, green, blue and purple with a mixture of red, blue and yellow but choose whichever colours you like. Add a blob of each colour to start with as you can always add more but you can't take it away. When each of them is mixed Use a teaspoon to put half a teaspoon of mixture into each cupcake case. Smooth it down with the back of the spoon before adding another colour and keep going until you have used each colour in turn. Just be careful not to mix them together as they won't keep the different colours separate. Then put the cupcakes into the oven for 12 to 15 minutes until springy to the touch. While the cupcakes are baking, make the icing by beating the butter, icing sugar, lemon juice and zest in a small bowl with a wooden spoon. Once it has come together, add in the milk to make it smooth and shiny. Once the cupcakes are baked, leave everything to cool in their tins before starting on the assembly. McCoy's and Corum say to Steve. Draguna, McCoy's and Corum say to Steve. Assemble the top hats, knead the fondant with black food colouring to make it grey or as dark as you can make it. Then cut the base sponge in half vertically and find a template about a centimetre bigger than the cupcake and cut around it on the sponge. You will get about six top hats so six base sponges is what you can get from the sponge. I used a bowl as it was about the right size. Place the base on the serving tray and peel off the paper of two cupcakes and slice off the dome on top to make it sit flat. Place them on top of the base and shave off any bits that are sticking out around the sides. Then put two teaspoons of icing into a sandwich bag, stick the sponges together with icing before covering the whole top hat in icing with a palette or table knife. Once it is covered in icing, roll out a circle of fondant and cover the top hat with the fondant as smooth as you can. When one is done, continue and repeat the process with the other five sponges and cupcakes until they are all covered in fondant. Once they are all covered, you can decorate and I added some paste stars to add the finishing touch. Serve to your guests with a flare and watch their jaws drop as you reveal the magic inside. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more tuneful baking content.
I look forward to seeing you next month for my next ESB Monthly Bake. Hello everyone! How cosy to see you here on my channel! In this edition of the Monthly Bake, I'm going to get happy with a brightly coloured pudding in pumpkin pie that will cheerily spice up any dark autumn evening. And to accompany the recipe, a selection of songs about happiness.